everybody, Big Mama here. And today, uh, I wanna teach you about pork loins. Pork loins are one of the most economical cuts of meat that you can buy. This uh, particular pork loin is nine and a half pounds. It was $1.99 a pound, not even on sale. And it was $18.87. Uh, when you pick them out, you wanna make sure that it doesn't have a lot of fat a lot of fat cap on the back of it because most of that you're going to cut off anyway so you don't want to waste your money on fat. So dig through them and find the one that has the thinnest fat on it. This is enough for three different dishes. Uh, right now we're going to make uh, pork loin in the Instapot, okay, in the pressure cooker. I like to cook it very plain, okay, I'm just going to add a little water into it and when it comes out of the pressure cooker, you can then use it for, uh, have, depending on how you season it, you can use it for barbecue sandwiches, you can use it for carnitas, you can use it for a wide variety of things, so we're not gonna season it. Let me open this up and cut some off, be right back. Okay, what I did was I opened this, I drained it, and then I rinsed it off. Uh, I'm going to cut, try to cut this into thirds. Uh, Part of it we're gonna use for uh, pork cutlets. Part of it we're going to use as boneless pork chops that we're going to uh, bake in the oven. And the other part of it we're going to use in the Instapot. Now if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can certainly cube this made up and boil it in a pot. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, since I have an Instapot, that's what I'm going to use. Move this out of the way. I'm just going to cut this into chunks. You want your chunks to be the same size, and the reason for that is they will cook uniformly. Okay? If you have a bunch of small pieces and a bunch of large pieces, some are going to get overdone and some may be undercooked. Now that's not as bad in a, in a pressure cooker, but it's it's kind of like that when you're baking things or when you're boiling things. Y'all, I found my really good knife. I had it put away because it looks like a machete. We do have grandchildren. But look at this. Man, this dude will just slice right on through it. All right, so I'm thinking these are probably two by two maybe. I don't want them super small, but I don't want them um, humongous either because when I reheat these, what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna freeze it once it's done and then fully cooked. And then when it's time to prepare it for a meal, I'll simply take it out and heat it up in a skillet um, and add my seasonings then because uh, carnitas have a totally different seasoning than barbecue. Okay, I chunked all of the meat. I put it into the Instant Pot. It's about a third full. I put two quarts of water into the Instant Pot. Uh, it's got about an inch of water covering the meat. So we're gonna cook this on 10 pounds of pressure for 20 minutes. All right, our 20 minutes are up. And here is our cooked pork. I'm gonna take this fork and put it into a bowl into the refrigerator. And once it gets cool, I'm gonna take it and put it in Ziploc bags with the juice into the freezer. The juice is gonna help protect it and keep it moist. And when I pull it out and do some cooking with it, I'm gonna uh, do some more videos and let y'all know how I'm using it. All right, y'all have a good day.